What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. With the NFL and fantasy football season around the corner, I'm here to tell you why these three year two quarterbacks will be bouncing back in a major way in 2024. With the first quarterback that I will be talking about is Anthony Richardson from the Indianapolis Colts. And through four game appearances in 2023, he actually led all rookie quarterbacks in default accuracy rating red zone accuracy rating, and under pressure accuracy rating. On, on top of that, he did lead all rookie quarterbacks in pressure catchable rate of 56%. If Anthony Richardson is healthy and plays the whole entire season, he can come down as the top dual threat quarterbacks in the NFL and can provide top five league winning upside as a quarterback in fantasy football. With Shane Steichen as the, head, as the head coach and one of the top play callers in the NFL, he can probably help Anthony Richardson give Jalen Hurts 2021-2022 type of production. With Michael Pittman, Adam A. Mitchell, he has Alec Pierce, Josh Downs, does have an injury, but he should be coming in within the first quarter of the 2024 season, and Jonathan Taylor. He is surrounded by a great supporting cast, and I do believe that Anthony Richardson can have a great 2024 season as long as he is healthy. I do believe that he may take away some red zone carries from Jonathan Taylor, and I believe that he will be lethal in the run game and also on top of that in the passing game. It would not surprise me if Anthony Richardson can give you about 800 rushing yards and 10 plus rushing touchdowns, and on top of that, 3,000 passing yards and 25 plus passing touchdowns. I believe that this is going to be a major breakthrough season for Anthony Richardson, but the key part is he needs to stay healthy, but healthy Anthony Richardson, he will bounce back in 2024. Now, the second quarterback that I will be talking about is Will Levis, quarterback out of the Tennessee Titans. And the big reason why I believe he'll bounce back is the brand new coaching staff and Ken Henry not being there. And he is now with the Baltimore Ravens. The Tennessee Titans now have head coach Brian Callahan, that was the offensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals, and have offensive coordinator Nick Holes, who was a passing game coordinator for the Jacksonville Jaguars. During Brian Callahan's tenure during the Cincinnati Bengals, they were a top 10 passing offense and Nick Hole's lone season with the Jacksonville Jaguars. They did finish top 10 in passing yards per game. DeAndre Hopkins is hurt. I do expect him to come back early on in the season, but they do have Tyler Boyd. They do have Calvin Ridley and they do have pass catching running backs such as Tony Pollard and Spears, I do believe that Will Levis will have at least two receivers that can put up at least 1,000 receiving yards. And also, for those who do not know, Will Levis did finish number one out of all quarterbacks in the NFL in air yards per attempt. And on top of that, finished second in deep ball catchable rate. So Will Levis does have a lot of upside. He does have a new coaching staff. I do believe that the Tennessee Titans will be one of the top pass happy teams in the NFL. And he's going to have to out pass and out throw quarterbacks in his division, such as Trevor Lawrence, CJ Stroud, and Anthony Richardson. And if Will Levis wants to prove a point that he could be the next franchise quarterback for the Titans, I believe this can be a bounce back year for Will Levis in 2024. Now, last but not least, we have Bryce Young, quarterback from the Carolina Panthers. It was a very, very rough season for Bryce Young, but his offensive line did not do him any justice. They did give up the second most sacks in the NFL tied with the Washington Commanders, the Panthers did make a lot of moves in the off seasons. They did revamp both guard positions, left guard and right guard. So I believe that Bryce Young will now have a lot more time in the pocket. And he does have a new head coach and Dan Canales as he did come from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in which he was the offensive coordinator. So I believe that that will actually help Bryce Young out just a bit. And on top of that, let's talk about Dan Canales in 2022. He did help Geno Smith put up top five fantasy football numbers as a quarterback. 
and Dan Canals last year. He did help Baker Mayfield finish top 10 in quarterback production in fantasy football. I am not trying to tell you that Bryce Young will finish as a top 10, top 5 quarterback. I do think that Bryce Young can provide at least top 15 quarterback production, especially in fantasy football. I do think that Dan Canals is probably one of the top passing specialist in the NFL, especially as a coach. I think he'll help slow the game down for Bryce Young, who rely on the passing game. They do have Deontay Johnson that came in as a trade from the Pittsburgh Steelers. So now he has a nice receiving core in John Domingo, Xavier Leggett, Adam Thielen, Deontay Johnson. They had one of the best draft class. They did draft the number one running back in Jonathan Brooks, who will definitely come in earlier in the season. So I do believe that Bryce Young is in a better position this upcoming season than he was last year. He's off the pass catchers and the new head coach. So I do think that Bryce Young can put up at least top 15 production and can be a sleeper in fantasy football if you guys like to hold on to two quarterbacks in your lineup. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment below on your thoughts and what you guys think of these year two quarterbacks in 2024. Thank you so much and catch you next time.